Hi everyone, welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making Krispy Kreme bread pudding. So let's get started. Um, you're going to need to buy a dozen of the original Krispy Kremes or any kind of yeast uh, glazed donut. Um, and you're going to want them a couple, buy them a couple days ahead of time because you want them to get a little bit hard. You don't want them super, super fresh, okay? So I bought mine about three days ago and I've left the lid kind of open to get them kind of hard. So in a bowl, you're going to need um, three eggs lightly beaten, one cup of whole milk, one and a quarter cups of heavy cream, a half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of either nutmeg or cinnamon. I'm using cinnamon. We don't like nutmeg. So let's start cutting up our um, donuts. You're going to want them cut into five or six pieces, however much you can get out of them. doesn't really matter. doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to throw them in a buttered 9 by 13 dish. Or a little bit smaller than 9 by 13 if you don't have a 9 by 13. Alright, so I cut all of our donuts. I had seven extra donuts, so I kind of did a half of a recipe for that to make it all cohesive. Um, so now just make sure you whisk all your ingredients together really, really good. You'd want to make sure that egg is good. Now, if you're doing a half a recipe, just add two eggs instead of three. Um, you would need one and a half eggs, and it'll just make it more custardy. It will not ruin this at all. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour this over our donuts gently. You want this to kind of soak in, so go slow. Okay, I'm just really going really slow with this because it will fill up your pan. Just make sure you try and hit it all. Okay. Scrape out your bowl. All the goodies at the bottom. All right, now just take a spatula or your hands and just push this down into your egg mixture. You want it to be pressed pretty tightly so that it cooks together and it'll hold together. Now, once you get this totally submerged and put it on a pan because mine just ran over a little bit, um, we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Alright, so now that this is set for 10 minutes, I'm going to stick it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. Alright, so now while our um, bread pudding is cooking, baking in the oven, we're going to make, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to make a peach whiskey sauce to go over it. So in a saucepan, you're going to need a half a cup of butter, okay, a half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of heavy cream, and a quarter cup of whiskey, bourbon, whatever you want to use. I'm using the peach. I just think it'll give it a little bit of more of a fruity aftertaste. It'll be delicious. So a quarter cup of that. Okay, and we're just going to pour that in. Now we're just going to heat this up and get the sugar dissolved. Let's just do it on medium heat and just continue to stir it so it doesn't burn. Alright, once 
the sugar's dissolved and everything is heated and melted together, it's, it's done. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this um, in a container or you can leave it in the pan and as soon as you take out your bread pudding, you can pour this over the bread pudding. I don't recommend doing that. A lot of people don't like alcohol. So I'm going to put mine on the side. When the bread pudding's done, we're going to take it for the party tonight and we'll heat it up heat it up in the oven or maybe in the microwave of uh, the bread pudding just a little bit and I will heat this um, this mixture back up so that it's it's fluid and you can dry, uh, drizzle it over your warmed up bread pudding okay so I'm just gonna put mine into a canning jar because I'm gonna carry it over with me oh well, perfect all right all right so here's our finished bread pudding um, I let it go an extra 10 minutes because I did add six more um, donuts. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's nice and crispy on top and very soft and custardy in the middle. That's what you're looking for. And then um, you would put this on top of your hot bread pudding. I would just do it on separate plates, though. Don't put it all over the top because some people might not like the whiskey, okay? So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.